Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Persona 5 Royal. Today, what are we doing? That's a good question. We're probably gonna go hang out with Hifumi. Nice. Yeah, actually, we get an ability from her, right? Where you at? Yeah, rank two, you get this, which is chance of four follow-up by a backup member if Joker downs an enemy. Sounds good to me. She's also the only one available at night that I really care to work on right now. I mean, this could be good as well. But, you know, <laughs> I don't really care. Uh, now, before I do anything else, though, I could also read a book or increase my social stats, right? How are we doing on that? We got we got maximum charm. This is true. We got four and everything else. I think that's pretty good for right now. Um, I guess I'll just work on what feels right whenever I get a chance. Let's actually go to the bathroom and check to see what the hell we're missing. Or how, not missing, but how close we are to actually uh, hey. ranking things up. Let's go in the thing, because as we all know, we always do our best thinking in the public bathroom. I'm getting somewhat close to improving knowledge. That's good. I've reached my maximum potential of charm. You're goddamn right. Close. I have no idea for guts and kindness. Okay, so I think that's like the midway point, right? When you think you're getting somewhat close. So, yeah. Aside from guts, we're pretty at the middle, I think, when it comes to uh, leveling stats up. I thought we could just go to the DVD store. I wanted to return my movie. And what are we going to uh, rent this time? I, I don't know. Kindness? Does kindness sound good? I think kindness does sound good, right? Gutsy. I mean, guts are important. I think. There's got to be some, some confidant that uh, requires the max guts. But let's go ahead to Hifumi. It's called, I almost said Hifumi a, a Atata. What a wonderful day. Hello? Get out of my way. Hi, Fumi. Who the hell is this? Uh, sure? Yeah, let's interject and be like, go away, dog. <laughs> Thank you for shaking my hand. I've, I've ne I'm never gonna wash it again, I swear. Huh? Uh, um, please wash it. I can't believe that you're really here in the church. I read on the internet that you prayed to God for victory. Is that true? N no. I can, can I take a selfie with you and post it online? Sorry, I've been turning down all sorts of requests. <laughs> By the way, is it true that you're trying to become a professional shogi player? <laughs> well, nothing's been... I'll be cheering for you to qualify. I'll be the first. You'll be the first woman to surpass the third Dan League. I really believe in you. Thank you very much. Good evening. Hi. Men like that approach me all the time. At first, I thought you were one of them. Really? I'm hurt. I really must apologize for being rude to you. Um. It bothers me when people make such a big fuss over me, considering the. The, considering the priest is doing me a great favor by letting me play here. You see, he's my shogi friend. And he's very kind. He once told me he, that he wanted to become a professional professional player. And he doesn't laugh at my embarrassing habit when he, we play together. Oh, well. Oh. Yeah, apparently he's a very patient man and understanding. So I did the photo shoot. I'm embarrassed just thinking about it. Did you see it? It was called the Venus of Shogi. Uh... <laughs> describes you perfectly. No, I didn't. That's quite the headline. You know what? That's quite the headline. It certainly is. And it's not really an excuse, but the editorial staff came up with the title on their own. Ever since I won the female Shogi lead, I've been getting a lot of attention. I just figured I could continue to the Shogi world. Besides, my mother seems to be very happy. Whenever I win, she rejoices as if she was our, it was her home victory. Yeah, I bet. I want to live up to the expectation that she has for me. However, she's been getting a bit overzealous lately. Uh, she set up an interview and a photo shoot. It's as if she wants to be a, a manager of a celebrity. I wonder if she wants to be a manager of a celebrity. Uh, you don't enjoy it? You should just go on having a difficult time. You don't enjoy it? No, to be honest. But it's alright. 
sorry. Oh, sorry. I should be teaching you how to play instead of talking about my mother. Today, we sh I'll be showing you something very practical. It's a tactic for using the reserve pawns you've taken from your opponent in a more effective way. Nevertheless, I apologize. You're such a good listener, I feel at ease speaking with you. Actually, it's the charm stat. Aside from the priest, you're actually the first person I've spoken to about my mother. You feel Hifumi's trust in me growing. Whoa. Yuchi Komi. And that's probably not how you pronounce that at all. Alright. Now then, I will instruct you while you play. I look forward to it. Are you ready? I mean, yeah. Whoa. Until next time. All right, I didn't get any points with you. <laughs> Man, that's a kind of a first. I thought I've been doing pretty good on these confidants. Uh, this is Afumi. I appreciate you spending time with me today. Um, I ended up feeling much better after sharing my connection with you, but this hardly seems fair. How can I teach you properly when I'm this distressed? Bring it on. Don't worry about it. That's part of our deal too. Uh, bring it on. Oh, are you sure? You really are a strange individual. I mean, yeah. But thank you for the encouragement. And if that's the case, I can only hope uh, to repay you through my lessons. Well, we actually got points with her there, too. So it's not a total bust. You must make for a refreshing opponent. Uh, you make for a refreshing opponent. Somehow, the more we exchange, the more I feel my world expanding. Changing you is also a great learning experience for me, as it leads to a deeper understanding for, of myself. Well then, if you excuse me, I'll see you for our next match. Sure. So it's story time. Story time? It's probably story time. Alright, so today's the day. It's actually probably going to be story time for a while now that I think about it. But today is still the day! Today's supposed to be the day Medjid attacking, right? I guess there's nothing the fan of these could do. Medjid must have had been too much for them. Stock prices are plummeting again. Maybe Medjid's true goal was... Just cuts to our party shaking Futaba. You Wake up! Have a deadline for dealing with Medjid? Futaba's still asleep too. This won't be good. Hey. Uh, how's Futaba? Same as always. Today is the day Wakaba passed. I do this every year. What a coincidence! Also, um... So, like, I'm assuming she wakes up, goes to the bathroom, and eats, right? You're not just leaving her unconscious for the last 25 days, yeah? Cause, dog, that would get you in trouble with the law. <laughs> like, horribly. That would give Sai so much ammunition against you. I've got a cup for you, too. Oh, thank you. Uh, where's my cream and sugar, dog? Taba reminds me so much of her mother. She's a smart girl. Doesn't just go with the flow, either. Wakaba, your work and your kid were so fulfilling for you. Why'd you have to die so suddenly? Oh, that reminds me. You saw me talking to that prosecutor, and I mean, that woman in the suit, right? Yeah, prosecutor, I know. I remember you were real bothered by it. She might come back, so I guess I should tell you about it. That woman was trying to get information on Wakaba's research out of me. That's what we heard in the palace. You don't need to know what the research was about. Just know there was some trouble around it. Okay, was it cognitive science? Obviously, Wakaba got dragged into that as well. Now, they ruled her death a suicide. But I've got my doubts. Doubts? Could she have been killed? Supposedly, there were people who wanted to take her research and use it for their own benefit. Don't get me wrong, though. I don't have a lick of evidence. That's why I haven't told Futaba any of this. I don't want to cause her any more trouble. Oh, I got a feeling she knows. It sounded like she had suspicions of her own based on what she said in the palace. Still, there's one thing I regret. It was right before Wakaba died. She told me, I think I might die. I brushed it off thinking it was just a joke. 
Why? I had just <laughs> taken her seriously. I mean, sure, some people have dark sense of humor, and hell, I've made a dark joke here and there in my life, almost constantly. But at the same time, that's like, in a personal one-on-one -on -one conversation, if there's no joking around going on, if someone's like, yeah, I think I might be dying soon, you probably should be like, uh, yo, hold up, what? That's another reason I took Futaba in. Redemption. She went through such horrible things. And those heartless adults just yelled at the poor Which girl. It doesn't make no sense. I'm assuming hey, they are connected in some sort, but still. How do you heal emotional scars? Time. They'll heal on her. Yes, eventually. I agree. You might need some assistance with the those healing of those scars, but... Eventually, they will heal. Futaba? Or at least lessen. It's cold. Yeah, well, it's been sitting there for a few hours. Uh, uh huh? You can't sell this. What are you talking about? Cold coffee's great. Hot coffee is great. All coffee is great except room temperature coffee. Actually, it's kind of disgusting. Uh, I walked. You're okay. Was that bad? Th that's not it. I'm just shocked to see you out of the house. Uh, I'm sorry I worried you. <laughs> oh, don't go crying. You're gonna get me crying. By the way, what's the date today? 21st? Uh, it's, uh, it's the 21st. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Yeah, our promise. Uh, you know, the cleanse. Oh, I remember now. Majed. Let's take care of it now. Come. Alright. Can I bring my coffee? Hey, Sandra, I'm just gonna go back with your daughter to her room, man. Don't worry about it. Apparently some ATMs aren't working. I heard someone's tampering with the system. Is it Majed? No, it couldn't be. What are the police doing? They're so incompetent. Even the Phantom Thieves couldn't stop them. It's my turn to help out. Well, that's good. <laughs> Majed. Now how do we cook them? With the, I don't know, air fryer? I'll eliminate them. Violent much? Oh, always. Hey, Futaba. We don't have much time left. Are you sure you could do this? The, the kitty talk? Don't worry about it. We'll talk about that later. Is it a dream? I'm going back to sleep. It is not a dream. Get up. Say something. Uh, he's a talking cat. R right. Now hurry it up. Eh, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's get cracking. You're just tapping away over there. Are you sure this will work? That's how computers work, dog. You gotta use a keyboard. Mm -hmm. Hey, Futaba. <laughs> I don't think she can hear me. Talk about intense concentration. Fuck, she has headphones on, man. This place is so messy. I'm surprised she could focus at all. It is disgusting in here. You're absolutely right. It's just, you have bags of trash. Like, holy shit. Just a pile of trash. You should really clean your room a bit. Yeah. Huh. She's not listening. Oh, well. I, 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 I kind of, I just hope. Clean the place I just hope there's no, like, instant ramen cups in those trash bags or any sort of food. Because holy shit, the smell must be atrocious. That little unicorn Pegasus doll is adorable, though. Whew. It looks a little better now, don't you think? That is a fire hazard, by the way. You see that little... I'm assuming that's like a server box? Like, what the hell? You had paper and trash just crammed on top of that. Do you have... On those wires, too, Futaba. What the hell, girl? Well, Futaba, we're done on our end. Are you finished yet? 
<laughs> she can't hear a word I'm saying. <sighs> Guess we'll just have to keep waiting. Wanna take a nap on the bed? Oh! <laughs> we are taking a nap on the bed. Sitting, though. What's up? Something happened? It's finished. Finished? What is? It's so clean. Why? Uh, cleaning we fairies. Cleaned it. Anyway, is it true? Did you really take care of Medjed? I handled them, and someone else handled my room. You're welcome. I don't understand, but this is good. This is the first time in like a few years you've seen your floor. Hey, Futaba, what's wrong? <sighs> She's sleeping. Your back is gonna be a mess when you're an adult. Well, it looks like it's been taken care of. I guess we should get home and sleep too. I mean, sure, but can I like... I don't know, at least read a book? Uh, this has to be fake, right? There's no way! I'm so scared, what's gonna happen? Are police taking action? They're ignoring it! Seriously! Still, I'm sure the fantasies will do something. It's already done. It's done! I guess I don't get to do anything tonight. So, Futaba's awake? <laughs> awesome! And has Medjid been taken care of? Uh, more importantly, how Futaba's doing? Uh, she's in her futon. Seriously? She must have been quite exhausted. I can't say I blame her at all. She's been sleeping for 25 days, dog. If Medjed's been affected, I'm sure it'll make the news. That should be enough to confirm whether or not the deed has been done. Then why don't we all watch the news together? Yes, we should meet up at LeBlanc's as usual. See you tomorrow, guys. We should be in the clear now, right? Maybe? I, I imagine. <laughs> Oh, you're not laying down. That's good. That means I can actually do something. But what? I could watch a movie, or I could read a book, or I could clean. I can make curry as well. Hmm. Could I make curry and have... Probably not, because I can't leave anywhere, right? So I probably can't get Kawakami to make curry for me. I could try it. I don't want to accidentally get like locked into it though. Hey, hey. Uh, making curry will cause time to pass, but you will uh, you can make a special curry that restores HSP. This may prove useful for exploring palaces. What do you want to do? Let's ask Kawakami. Yep. Yeah. Make sure you close up. Oh, so she's actually gonna do it, Hi. dude! This is awesome. Yeah, go ahead and make the curry. I have to talk to you, I guess. How's it going? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go read a book over here, apparently. Oh, that's the payphone. Read. Oh, uh, yeah, what are we reading? We got Master Swordman. That's Guts. Knowledge. Ooh, Learn Pro Darts. That could be good. Flowpedia. I'm never gonna work at that place again, so I probably don't need to read that. Uh huh. Guts, proficiency. What? Oh, these are just. I don't think we need these. Billiard magician. We got this when we played billiards recently, didn't we? Um. So apparently, if I read all the books from Booktown, like I, I gotta finish the book and then more books will show up. But apparently, there's a really good book at the end of that line. Um. I'm gonna do this one first, though, and then maybe I'll do the the other one uh, next time. I'm assuming we're gonna have a few nights where it's just story time. Oh, days, I should say. All right. Like hey, you were just sleeping here while I was cooking? That's weird. But here I have some decent curry. Only one though. That's kind of disappointing. 
I'm assuming I make better curry by myself, right? And probably maybe more? Maybe. Yeah, no, we're pretty good, right? So it's daytime. Hey, your friends are here. Hurry down. What's up? <laughs> what up? So you're finally up, huh? Don't slack off just because you're on summer vacation. That's what vacation is for. Also, I've been doing a lot. I've been working a bunch of jobs. I've been reading a bunch of books. Okay, I've read like maybe one book. I've watched a good amount of DVDs. I got a good amount of requests. Yo, you look tired. Yeah, I stayed up all night reading a book and watching my girlfriend cook. Not you on. Made ourselves at home. Late last night, it was discovered that someone has tampered with the hacker group Medjid's website. The site's main page now displays what is thought to be the mark belonging to the Phantom Thieves. You're goddamn right. How did she even get that, though? More so, the personal information of a Japanese man, a possible Medjid member, was illegally publicized. Illegally, legally, uh, you know. Aren't these the guys people have been up in arms about? Medjid has yet to issue an official reply. Pretty sure they can't. Furthermore, their previously announced cleanse of Japan has remained unimplemented for now. Some speculate that they have taken this series of events seriously and ultimately canceled their plan. You're welcome, Japan. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, Pyramid of Wrath plundered. What are you all smirking about? Uh, nothing. Just teenage stuff. Well, stop it. You're gonna drive away all my customers. You have no customers. After the commercial break, we will be asking guests from various fields about this turn of events. But there ain't any customers. Exactly, Ryuji. Can it? My customers are on summer vacation too. <laughs> oh crap, I just realized our break's almost over. There are still 10 days left. Woo! That's enough to I max out Yusuke. There, but we can't just leave Futaba-chan alone. Some things still concern me too. Like that research. You know, he's just still standing there, right? Oh, did you just get up? Oh, it's okay for her to sleep in. Good morning. <gasps> it seems she's cautious of us. Understandably, have you met each, each other? Hey, uh, why don't we go upstairs? If any customers come, she'll be even more afraid. Why don't you go with them, Futaba? Have fun. That's why we invited her, yeah? It's about time my regulars show up anyway. So I don't want you guys loitering around my store. The fact that there were no damages due to the hacker's actions is but an afterthought. The issue I want to make clear is the attitude of the police, and more importantly, the government. <sighs> what do you mean? Are they doing their best to find an effective countermeasure against these <laughs> phantom thieves? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's kind of like, why would anyone care about that at this point? Like, they just stop the cleanse. Is it not the government's duty to create a society where its citizens can live without worry? You have done a horrible job at that. Unfortunately, the current cabinet is powerless. As such, they should be disbanded. I believe now is the time for me to risk my political career in hope of making a new reality. A new political system that goes beyond parties or factions. An ideal country of peace and order. This politician seems quite promising. Oh, give it a couple hundred hours. I have to agree. I hope he can work to ease the anxieties of the elderly. What do you think, boss? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Uh, I wasn't listening. Going back to Sai? I thought we were going to be up in the upstairs with, like, Futaba. So the Phantom Thieves only stole the heart of Futaba Sakura? And Mejid was in turn defeated by her real-world hacking abilities? I know, pretty convenient, right? This does correlate to the facts as we know them. 
If he's telling the truth, then Wakaba Ishiki didn't commit suicide. Did a third party target her life with the goal of destroying her research? Wakaba's death was two years ago. That Is that it? also coincides yeah. with when the incident started occurring. Does this other metaverse user that Matarame and Kaneshiro mentioned really exist? Earlier, I briefly mentioned about those psychotic breakdown incidents that have alarmed the public. All of a sudden, people will lose consciousness or become violent. A situation as incomprehensible as that can't be explained away as troubled social conditions. I suspect that these cases are all connected to a larger, man-made plot. The method involved always muddled the explication, but your story has virtually confirmed its viability. Although I wouldn't have expected a new criminal to come to light from your testimony. What did your group think of this other Metaverse user? I mean, now he's kind of like the true criminal. How self-centered of you. I know. The Phantom Thieves tamper with people's hearts without asking consent. Well, to How be fair, different? I barely consider them people. <laughs> well, no matter how you thought of them, there can be no doubting your resolve. Are those incidents because of you or someone else? Either- Oh, sorry. Oh, we're getting a rank with Sai. Rank three. All right. Now, let's move on to your next crime. Kunikazu Okumura. You should know who he is, considering what happened. Your testimony regarding this incident will be serious. I'm sure you understand why. Answer my next question carefully. What did you do to this Okumura? Uh, the summary of the story up to this point has been updated. Sure. To think the cognitive version of a person would transform into such a horrible monster and attack us. That means our enemies aren't limited to shadows. I thought the other people were just victims. Like the slaves at the castle or the walking ATM. Well, they don't have to be victims, but sure. Even though they seem to be alive, they're only part of the backdrop. The environment. In other words, the palace ruler determines the form and strength of their cognitions. Hey, Futaba, don't get any of that on my bed, please. I would have loved to ask Futaba's mother how far along she was with her research. Research, huh? She was looking into that cognitive science stuff, yeah? If we put together all the information we've gathered up to this point, abuse of cognitive science can lead to death, and it may even relate to the psychotic breakdown incidents. Considering the cognitive aspect, I sense a strong connection between it and the metaverse. On top of that, the research might have been stolen and used by someone else. You mean those guys that showed Futaba-chan the fake suicide note? That is the Futaba, case. you are right. Those people are Kind of sitting there, doing nothing. Very stationary. Oh, you did blink, so that's a good sign. It does look like you're breathing. Hey, Futaba, is there anything else you can remember? <sighs> she is quite difficult. <laughs> That smell. Oh, you didn't actually had it cooked yet? Aw, no fair. Hey, can I snap that a bite? That looks so weird. <laughs> you know, she barely knows you, dog. Why, why would she share her food with you? I've been thinking. Even if Futaba is a genius, could she really crush an international hacker organization that easily? The one who taunted the Phantom Thieves was a guy in Japan. I knew the Medjed members in Japan weren't anything special, so I wasn't worried. How do you know that? Because I'm the founder. Um, what do you mean? Should we take that literally? I mean, have you met her? Yes. Yep, it was only me at first, back when I was referred to as the Hacker of Justice. But since I stayed anonymous, a bunch of guys from all over the world started using the name. And those were the ones committing cyber crimes. It was a hassle to expose all of them, so I just left them be. That's just kind of lazy, Futaba. Oh, uh, 
so Futaba was the true Medjed, and we were freaking out over some weak-ass dipshits? Yeah, but we didn't know any better. <sighs> you should have told us from the start, Futaba. I discarded the Medjed name a while ago. I'm Alibaba now. Futaba, what do you want to do now? Since you know our secret, we'd like you to join our team. Okay. Just like that? This may even ensure our investigation of mementos goes along smoothly. I mean, better. Well, I guess. Well, Futaba's real amazing. She's gonna be a big help for us, huh? Yeah, she gets up on Basilis. Not Basilis. Say Futaba. The hell? Ballistas, there we go. Basilis are, are there's a mythological creature that can turn you the stone in Harry Potter. Actually, I think they can turn you turn you the stone in like all mythologies. Anyways. How did you find out about us? Secret. Where did you learn to hack? Private. <laughs> when did you obtain the nav? I refuse to answer. Why? Futabachan sure. Is it because it's Makoto? Unique. Look, I get it. We're kind of having a fight right now because the whole Max trumps that too, but she's all right. Still, it'll be a problem if she doesn't open up to us some more. At the very least, we need to be able to communicate normally with her. What should we do? Uh, let's get to know her. She's okay as is. Uh, that ain't gonna fly. Why? I deal with all of you and your unique personalities. First, we'll need to help her open up to us. If we each spend an entire day with her, maybe she'll get more used to being around. Or hate us. <laughs> we do have the time, thanks to summer vacation. Yeah, but I want to max out confidence. We can begin tomorrow. I guess. Let's go to the beach. There'll be tons of people there. Plus, we got totally dried out in that desert. So let's go to a sandy beach with the sun blazing, because that's going to be different. I guess there'll be water, so yeah, that is different, but at the same time, no. That's a great idea! I forgot I hadn't gone to the beach yet. I haven't gone to the beach in, like, five years. And no, it's not just because I'm a ginger. Uh, excuse me. I'll come by tomorrow. See you then. Let me help as well. I don't have anything planned. Thanks. We can set a schedule with everyone else depending on when they're free. Okay! <laughs> can I really do this? Oh, probably not, but we're gonna try. <laughs> Good luck. Why me? Because you're a kitty. Stress is the enemy of beauty, you know. Yeah, I know. How can I stay calm about this? I understand how you feel. Thanks to the incident with those hackers, people are calling us incompetent. And they're right. And on top of all that, the Phantom Thieves are claiming justice is on their side. And it is! Laugh. Mejed was dealt with by either the Phantom Thieves themselves, or some avid supporter. There are no tracks whatsoever, so they must be quite skilled. Either way, the general public recognizes the Phantom Thieves as the subjugating party. They're gaining support and influence much faster than we could have anticipated. It is indeed an abnormal situation. I'm beginning to suspect mass manipulation of some kind. Oh yeah, totally. Uh, being said though, why haven't they gone after Mishima? Right? Dude is running a website with all like... Like these requests coming in. And yeah, it might not be act like actual Phantom Thieves, but you feel like they'd probably be like, "Yo, dog, what's this? What's this website about?" At some point, it's even possible that a powerful person is behind them, plotting the psychotic breakdowns. If only I had realized sooner. It's rare to hear you speak in that tone. For the sake of my justice, I won't forgive them. Can I do anything tonight? Hey, I heard about... I heard some people talking about us on the train home. Uh, they were saying how awesome they think the Phantom Thieves are. I heard things, too. It's coming a huge, becoming a huge topic of conversation. 
to be fair, the casualties from the Medjet attack would have been massive. It's no surprise they revere us for preventing it. Uh, good to hear? Yeah, it really, it's really all thanks to Alibaba. You're, you were a great help. It was nothing. Oh, that reminds me. I remember that stuff about ATMs and banks just stopping? That wasn't Medjet, was it? Nope, that was totally separate. So people were overreacting to mere coincidences? Either that or those rumors were never true to begin with. Hmm, you seem to be quite talkative in these conversations. Is that so? I'll shut up then! <laughs> Aww. Question mark? Aww. I don't think I get it, but I'm pretty sure she's angry. You gotta apologize, Yusuke. Me? Why? <laughs> hey, is this really going to be okay? Probably not. I'm worried about how things will be from now on. <sighs> Training for top is gonna be a lot of work, more than stealing someone's heart. Ah, uh, no, not, not even a chance. Now that's my Phantom Thieves. I knew they'd pull it off. And they, this definitely proves the justice of the Phantom Thieves. And you may be right. Right? That feels great. Even the guys who had been criticizing the fantasies basically, basically have to accept them now. The news has been spreading like wildfire too. I'll give it an extra boost on my side as well. I bet the approval rating will be uh, be through the roof tomorrow. Look forward to it. Why is he of all people getting excited about this? He's a fanboy. Well, the news really did draw a lot of attention. I can't wait to see what happens. So you're stint. Can I leave? I can leave. I can go get an affinity boost with, where is it, with Hafumi, and see if that will rank up her, her skill thingy bob. You're still outside. Maybe next rainy day we can check them out. Yeah, I know. Can you, like, do a fortune telling thing? Uh, I don't think we'll hang out with Hafumi tonight. We might wait for, I mean... We're gonna hang out with her tonight, like in game tonight, probably if this ranks her up. Um, but I think for this episode we're not going to because well, it's probably gonna be automated cutscenes tomorrow, right? Um, probably for a few days, right? I shouldn't I shouldn't get my hopes up coming to like being able to pretty much I don't know do anything during the day. I am I'm hoping. For like the next big chunk of story, whenever that's gonna be, we can max out use K. I mean, we're in the middle of the next big chunk of story, but okay, she will level up. Great, we'll do that next time. Um, but before we go to Mementos, I would like to level up use K. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you have my video so I can check out some of the content, and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. We all have a great day. I'll just add this.